In part three, we want to look at the cylinders and their problems. Now, this is a 98 cc cylinder. I think it's 50 millimeters. I think I have a lot of cylinders I really don't know. But we want to look. There should be some small scratch marks along the edges. That's just normal. But what I have here is I have a lot of buildup along this wing and in the cylinder port, which shows if there's buildup in the exhaust port, it shows that it, it it's not getting a good uh, evacuation. Now I've got seize marks right down in here. I've got uh, carbon up in here, which shows me ring failure. <laughs> And we look at the back, and the back looks pretty good. It's got a couple small marks, that's nothing. But if you look over here on one side, you'll notice it's dark right here. And that's ring failure right there. If we look at the 154 millimeter cylinder, um, I mean, I'm sorry, it's it's 54 millimeter, I'm sorry, 154, right. And that's got a polished intake right here. But if you look here, you'll see uh, seize marks going up the front of the cylinder towards the exhaust and above. And if we turn it around, I have seize marks that are going down. Now what that tells me, and this is the piston, what that tells me is that the piston is not getting too hot, but this may be a little bit bigger piston. This may be bored one size over. Or, when this cylinder was made, it wasn't bored out completely to the right size. Maybe, but I have to. I'll have to measure them and find out. Now, when you go to put your rings on, what I found out is you want to put your rings on with any writings up upwards, so that you can read them. And you want to make sure that your piston grooves are very, very clean. Because those pistons have, or the rings have got to move to be able to have the pressure get behind them and expand against the cylinder walls right here. Expand. If they're stuck in here in some way, then they won't expand and you're going to lose pressure and you'll get blow by, which is the explosion going down the side of the piston instead of staying at the top of the piston where it should stay. Now over here is a head of my current engine. This was another one I had. This was uh, one of my fastest engines. It's an excellent water-cooled 54 millimeter cylinder head. What happened is one of my little wrist pins disintegrated on one of my pistons and the wrist pin goes not the wrist pin I'm sorry the circlip which there's one there and there's one right over here anyway that uh, circlip disintegrated it dropped into the cylinder and on the next stroke it got sucked up into the crown of the cylinder and what happened is it looks like a rat has been chewing on it right there it just destroyed the top of this cylinder and you can see by the uh, light brown coating that the cylinder was working very well and there is no leaks around the outside seal into the water chamber which is right here so the cylinder was doing very good I was doing about 70 miles an hour and all of a sudden the motor goes Bwah! and then I knew I was not doing too well.
but that's my take on looking at pistons and cylinders and finding out the symptoms of what went wrong and how to fix it and if you can understand what to look for then you can understand how not to make the mistake again and it's really very easy and that's my take on how pistons work and symptoms of piston and cylinder failure thank you